You do better as a woman. What have you done today that made a man's life easier? Suck dick. Go get a room. Oh, shit. <sighs> Let me just focus it on there. That way you can see it. You see that? That, that piece of shit. Yeah, that's who we're covering today. Such trash. Hello everyone, my name is J404 and today we are doing a different style video today. Um, we are doing a new internet web series and it is called Internet Leeches. What is Internet Leeches you may ask? Well, it is when I go on the internet and talk about trash influencers and talk about all the trashy things that they've done. Thank you for tuning in for the first episode. I know this is kind of random. I will have a good rollout for it, I promise. But today, we have our first leech. His name is Jack Doherty, or as I like to call him, a literal piece of shit. So if all of you guys are wondering why I'm talking about this arrogant ass, well, basically, he made a video today that I needed to talk about. It is called, I spent 24 hours with NLE Choppa. Woo! We love NLE. I listen to his music, he's a pretty good artist. Now, why am I talking about this video in question? Before I talked about this video specifically, let's talk about Jack himself. We are talking about all the times where this little sh Why am I calling him a little sh You'll see why. Literally goes out of his way to be a f***ing loser. I don't know how he can be such a loser and have this many subscribers. But somehow, he has a pretty good following. Totally makes sense, right? Considering the fact that you know, he doesn't give a shit. All right, so there has been many videos circling around of him fighting either random people or just random YouTubers. Now, one thing I noticed about Mr. Doherty here is that he tends to not know how to fight. He thinks that he's so powerful because he has bodyguards. What do I mean by that? Let's look at this video for an example. I know it's been floating around the internet and I know this is dated, but I just want to show an example. Go. <laughs> What? Well, bro, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, as you can see in this video, specifically, he goes out of his way to just mess with people, and then when a guy actually tries to talk to him about something and turns around and actually tries to challenge him, what does he do? He does what he usually does and hides behind his bodyguard while he goes, What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Yeah, keep walking. Keep walking. Bro's standing there like he's a literal goblin off of one of those fantasy games. Like, and he wants to talk about, what are you gonna do, pal? What are you gonna do? Man. Really? The amount of times he has been punched in the face and or slapped by random nobodies, especially people who are leeches on the internet that I might actually make videos about them specifically. Bro got knocked out by Fousey. He got smacked by the Iwin boys somehow. He got smacked by this other dude. I forget his name. But basically what the point I'm trying to make is that he's literally just a con artist who's making money off of little children. He actually has a brand where he talks about how you can get as successful as him. Lamborghinis, whoa! It's just a Ponzi scheme. Logan Paul literally did it. Let me know if you guys want a Logan Paul video, by the way. All right, so, yeah. He's a piece of shit. He doesn't know how to fight, I swear to God. Also, considering the fact he's literally built like Timmy Turner, this mother is 4'11", as far as I know, going into research. He is literally the size of, like, any other girlfriend that I've had already. So, yeah, he's already lost the weight gain there. Um, alright. So, enough yapping about this little sh**. Let's talk about this video. I spent 24 hours with NLE Choppa. Whoa! He's a rapper. I know him. Choppa's here. And we're all gonna get f***ing naked. See, Grace is gonna get naked for sure for NLE Choppa. Look at her go. Look at her go. Yep. I'm gonna go risk him. Alright, so we first start off with the fact that he's literally promoting sexual content. Um, I think one thing about Jack Doherty that he doesn't think about is the fact that there is a lot of eyes on his videos. This video already has 18,000 views. So these are probably all of his little child supporters showing support for their favorite creator. Um, 
So, Jack, I want you to take into consideration here on how to be a content creator, okay? Everyone can make inappropriate jokes, you can have inappropriate content, but if you're specifically not saying that it's not geared towards, you know, adults or things like that, what's going to happen is, is you're going to get a lot of people that are going to say, wow, you are a literal piece of shit, which you already are, so don't worry about that part. And you're literally promoting violence for children as well, because you're literally showing people half-naked women, things like that. Do you realize that, like, how bad this is for your career? How, how people are going to look back on you and this is what they're going to see? My Lamborghini and my house flooded. Like, you're literally asking to get demonetized off your channel. That That's basically what you're asking for. So, listen... You are an impressionable 20-year-old artist. You have to understand that when you make films and shit like that, you got to understand there's going to be eyes looking at it, right? Are, like, are you stupid? For me to jump in, I need a band. I ain't jumping in for no hundred dollars. A band, do it right now. We'll give it to you after. We pay after. Oh, look, guys, there's NOE Chopper in the back. Oh, my God, he spent 24 hours. Let's get to the moment where, you know, it's the headliner of the video. We sent him a thousand bucks. Oh, that was sick. Oh, oh, that was a thousand. He just sent you a thousand. What's Yo, jump in. Yo. Whoa, we paid him a thousand dollars to jump in water. That's a waste of money. Whoa. Yeah, I paid him a band. You did not. I paid him a band. Yeah, yeah, shorty. I paid him a band. Look, look at that. I, I, I paid him a band. I paid this random stranger I don't know a band. So then we have this other really uncomfortable conversation where he made one of his friends go on a speed date with this random girl. Um, and she looks very uncomfortable. You can literally see it in her face. Uh, now this part here really does piss me off. And I want you guys to see why. Alright, what's the first feature you notice about Brandon when you see him? Um... His eyebrows. Ooh, Ooh I got a good brow. I like yeah, that. Good. <laughs> what about his dick? What about his... his d That's a pretty interesting question, Jack. Yeah, so... One thing that Jack does here is he often goes uh, to weird means of talking about a lot he talks a lot about banging he is a horn dog i don't know what the hell his problem is i don't know why he has such an issue with this um he literally is like talking to this random girl that he probably doesn't even know and she doesn't know him about his friend you know that's that's a flex i guess hey man just my friend over there the f my bad what do you think all right what's first you feature i noticed about her first impression all right, so... Bro, you're staring right at them. What the <laughs> fuck? And the fact that he's literally just trying to go out of his way to make everyone uncomfortable is also another thing I really don't like. He literally says, yo, he wants to fuck you. And then is like, obviously pointing at the girl's, you know, breasts and him saying, "What? you know what you're looking at, right? You, you know what you're looking at, right? What's your body count? What's your body count? Chat, what do you think your body count is? What's that mean? You got a girlfriend. I know, I just want to see your phone though. And I like your girlfriend, she's pretty. She's the baddest I know. Exactly. Right? She's hot as f. Hot as And she has the best personality ever. She's so chill. She never. I don't know her. I just saw you. She's just so chill. Oh, you guys got matching shirts. And you're like, oh, that's my girlfriend. I said, that's my wife. Wife, you're right. You did say that. So then we get to this part, which I literally think is very wrong to do. So what Jack does is he's recording his vlog while drunk. So he's saying things that he probably wouldn't normally say. And if he's not drunk, he looks like it. So, you know, he goes on to argue with this woman for a long time, actually. She's actually the main focus of the video. And then he proceeds to talk to her about his girlfriend, you know, implying that he wants to fuck her clearly. There you go, who's hotter, that girl or this girl? Man. Which one are you going after? Her, her. That's kind of rude. Whisper in my ear. That's fun. Then he tries to literally diminish these girls' confidence by literally saying, which one you think's hotter? Like a f 
He's glorifying the fact that he can literally just say whatever he wants about women, which is f***ed up. Babe. No, have... babe, no, not them. Babe, you're gonna have to get out of the kitchen you and... You better shut the f*** up. You're gonna clean, you gotta clean up the house. Oh, really? Why? Because I said so. Do better. You do better. No, you do better. You do better as a woman. What have you done today that made a man's life easier? Suck dick. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, sh**. Then he goes out of his way to literally talk to this drunk woman while he is also very drunk. That, uh, women don't mean sh**. Things like that. And I know a lot of people are going to come at me and probably say, Well, Jaden, you can't blame someone while they're drunk. But I think I can. Because he is a piece of sh**. He's proven it time and time again. He doesn't give a f about his girlfriend. That he doesn't give a f about women on top of that so this is a very perfect example of why he's an arrogant ass i don't know what else i can say here i mean this is literally proof also where the f was nle choppa the whole time he literally said i spent 24 hours with nle choppa only to show him in the background for about like 20 seconds literal proof that he used clickbait and just used this to make his sexual fantasies come to life here stop this bitch i don't want to be the same car as her I don't want to be, I don't want to have to worry about getting touched by her. No, bro, stop. Dude literally thought that she was about to beat his ass. Like, did you see how defensive he got? Like, dude, come on now. Jack Doherty, oh my goodness. He's such a, he's such a role model. Oh my, oh my goodness. Look at the beautiful, look at the wonderful Jack Doherty. How can I be like him? Oh my God. Jack, you are a literal piece of sh**. No one f***ing likes you. And yeah, that's about it. In, in, in pure honesty, am I the only one that's thinking this? Let me, let me, let me bring this up. You ever go to school and there's that one kid that goes out of their way to just be really annoying or they're already annoying and you're trying to like make it known that you don't want to hang out with them but they go out of their way to just annoy you in every possible way by either flexing about something that they're clearly lying about or trying to look cool in front of the hose and it and they just fail miserably jack doherty is like that friend isn't he he pretty much is the embodiment of that friend that you have which you need better friends all right guys well i think that's good enough for this video you know obviously if this being my first internet commentary video i thought i'd start it right with this absolute pile of filth um besides that um i hope you guys enjoy maybe if you like it up i'll make another one let me know what person i should do next and besides that my name is j404 i'll see you with the next leech it's a pretty good outro right yeah Okay, this is just going to be a quick disclaimer in case y'all see this and it blows up, which I know it won't. Do not go on Jack's channel and blow up his comments saying negative things. That is not what I want my platform to be. I'm just pointing out the shitty things he's done. Thank you and goodbye.